were like, damn, dad, we wanna, we wanna go with you to pick up auntie, the great aunt. So we wanna go pick. So they just begged me and begged me and begged me to go, and um, so I said, okay, I'm gonna take them with. Me. That Memphis father who once demanded on Fox 13 that his daughter's killer be charged is now behind bars himself. Marcus Turner is facing charges for the alleged role in his child's death. Fox 13's Dominic Dillon shares the major change in this case, but she also has a warning for all parents. Four-year-old Malaysia was killed in a car crash last year here in Cordova. The driver of the other vehicle was indicted several months ago. Now her father has been indicted for his role in the accident. Oh, the other man was the cause of the wreck, but he was the cause of the wreck, but he was not the cause of Malaysia's death. Friday, Marcus Turner was booked into the Shelby County Jail under a $250,000 bond. He is facing several aggravated child abuse charges for allegedly not requiring kids wear a seatbelt in his car the night of a deadly accident in July 2023. I know I probably never get an apology for him, but I just want him to apologize to me for not having my baby a seatbelt on and her no longer being here. Despite data showing Memphis leads the nation in fatal auto crashes, some refuse to buckle up or make sure their children are properly restrained in a car. It's something Malaysia's mother, Antoinette Johnson, wants to change. I be want to just pull up and tell them, hey ma'am, please, my child died from that. In fact, one study found one in five children who were involved in a fatal car crash were not restrained or not properly restrained. <laughs> While Antoinette Johnson awaits justice, she hopes her daughter's death may save another child's life. My child lost her life. She had a whole life ahead of her. And due to the negligence of an adult, not properly restraining the child. She unfortunately is not no longer here with us today. The other driver, Melvin Owens Jr., is facing a vehicular homicide charge. He was supposed to appear in court today, but his appearance has been reset to the end of October. In Tennessee, kids three and under must be in a car seat. And if you can't afford one, the Shelby County Health Department has a program where they offer free car seats if you qualify. Kids four to eight, if they're under four nine, they need to be in a booster seat. And all children up to the age of 16 must be buckled up. Reporting in Cordova, Dominique Dillon, Fox 13 News.